If I didn't come here, I was going to leave here thinking this is an absolute dive. This is the single coolest thing I've seen in Lima so far. It's all right, nothing a one star review won't fix in my head. Come to Lima, they said. Just a couple of days, all you need, they said. Proper good food there, they said. Didn't they, Natalia? Yes. Here we are, Lima. First tourist attraction we found is a park that they feed cats. Little reason for you to come here. Where's Nat? I've lost her. They've got some people here that feed these cats and keep them here in the park. And then this makes it a tourist attraction for people like Natalia. Yay, kitties. They've got parakeets here. Can you not hear them? I can hear them, but I don't see them. Oh. I'm very underwhelmed so far with Lima. I thought as, I, as we flew in that it looks like not really my sort of cup of tea. It's just a massive city. Boring to be honest, it's not, not really anything special. There's an old town apparently which we will go and explore but right now all we've had so far is some churros from some restaurant that's been there since... 19... 1955 years. 1968. And they've got the, apparently the best churros and they were not the best. I think, I think it was pretty poor actually, and there were 23 soles for some churros with a bit of ice cream. Oh, shit, fuck. oh yeah, I got you worked out, mate. You, you've done us, you've had us by the balls. It's all right, nothing a one star review won't fix in my head. This area is called Miraflores, it's a district in Lima, and so far, all they've got is a little park where they feed cats and keep them there. Not the worst kind of zoo. Miraflores is the place where all the accommodations are. I thought, oh, but there must be stuff to do there then. Nope. The reason all the accommodations are there is because it's a safe area with a lot of restaurants. It's where all the tourists go. There's literally nothing else here. We're going down the beach now, have a little look at that, see what that's all about. I can't believe how dead this place is. There's nothing to do. Whoa. There's a chocolate making class. There's a chocolate making class. A food tour. There's a food tour. Where's the food tour? That no. might actually be alright. All uh, and there's a, uh, a chocolate making class. That's what you've already said that, yeah? Yeah. Making tour, chocolate making class, food tour. Uh, there's some ruins. Some ruins. Some that ruins. Basically, it looks like a shrubble of dust. Um, the cat park. Cat park. Jesus. Well, yeah, that's it. Oh, and there's a and there's a, a shopping mall that's been built on a cliff. Into a cliff, yeah. Into a cliff, sorry. What are you supposed to do here? I'm missing something. This must be. This is the single coolest thing I've seen in Lima so far. <laughs> that is cool. Here we go. Things are starting to look up. <laughs> the day is progressing. Well, this is a bit nicer. I like, I like this, it's better. But still, the beaches are a bit... Just black. Nah. It's not real, it's not exactly paradise. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what that massive mountain over there is. Ah, oh, can't find any inspiration here, no motivation. No. Just don't really see the point of it. Why do people come here? We'll go and see the old town, see if that's any better. That's more like it. Look at this. How fancy is this place? This is the old town, Lima. This is the Plaza San Martin. Do you know what I find very interesting, right? All over the world, you find these structures, right? And they've all got that, like, sort of dome on the, over the doorway. We just see them everywhere. And like the pillars are like Rome, in, in Rome everywhere. 
why why is it that we see these these types of buildings all over the world exactly the same style if anybody knows please educate me because i find it very fascinating fish this is more like it this is more like what i would come to expect from a capital city not that concrete jungle we was in before with all boring tower blocks everywhere look at this mate Much nicer, much nicer. And there's actually stuff going on as well. There's a lot of people here. We just see some geezer on a Scorpio motorbike. Random. It's very interesting to come to the city right after we've been in like rural Peru to see how differently people dress. They're dressed very modernly here. It's like, to be honest, it feels like it could be a, just a Western city, really. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it just feels like, uh, you know, everyone's got their phones and everyone's got the, the newest tech and everyone's wearing more modern clothes. It's just a very big difference to the rest of Peru that we've seen so far. It's very, very modernised here. And I, I, I don't, I wasn't actually expecting that. Lima's such a big city as well. It's, it's huge. So at Miraflores, where we're staying, there's a load of accommodation there and they've got the beach there and apparently that's where all the best food is. We've had a bit of food there, it's all right. It's a lot of American food there. Um, but if you actually want to come and see like proper Lima, I think this this whole old town is like a big historical centre. So you, there's a lot, of, you, you, you get a, more of a sense of like the history of Lima instead of like just going out for food all the time. So, but there's no accommodation here in the old town. It's just, just uh, little souvenir shops, restaurants, and uh yeah and like government buildings restaurants museums and stuff so that is that is the difference and i actually like it lima old town has saved lima in my eyes i was if i didn't come here i was going to leave here thinking this is an absolute dive absolute waste of time coming here but it's actually good this is actually good just come to the old town and uh and have a look around here like this is so many streets of old historic buildings right now like look how old this is it's just uh it's, it's just a way more interesting place to walk around in the concrete jungle that we uh that we're staying in called miraflores it's called miraflores because apparently there's a lot of flowers there but i, just, I thought it was a complete fucking shell to be honest i thought it was just uh just like any other city i could be walking down my local town it's just just like that. It was. Like, I was like, "What the fuck am I even going to look at here?" It's just somewhere to stay. Yeah, it's just somewhere to stay. But it's only a 15-minute Uber ride here. Only cost us about 17 soles to get here, so it's not even expensive at all. But yeah, you could also get the bus, which is only what three. Three twenty. About three soles per person to get the bus, but then you've got to wait around for a bus. Uber's the easiest way. Since coming here, I say Uber is the best way to get around in Peru easily if you're in a place that where uber runs get uber because the taxi drivers all try and rip you off oh they're all you've got unmarked taxis everywhere it's just a fucking pain in the ass ubers are literally the future better for you safer for you as well if you're a solo traveler or solo female traveler especially i would say unless you're a pussy This drink here is a corn drink called chicha morada. It is made of corn coolie, which is a purple corn, believe it or not. And it's grown mainly in the Andean mountains. It actually originates from there, from the 1870s was the first time any Westerner discovered it. But it's actually from pre-Hispanic times and it tastes like corn. It's all right though, it's not that bad. We've got a big jug of it, but um, well, I've had it nicer than this before. This one here is particularly corn-like. The one we had before was a lot sweeter and had like a really nice flavor to it. It's called, uh, sometimes called the purple lady, the purple girl. Uh, so give it a go when you're here, because it's a traditional Peruvian drink. They ferment this drink to make an alcohol sometimes. And they used to do that in the, back in the day when they used to sacrifice the uh, children over at the volcano near Arequipa, Arequipa. 
And if the cultural experience wasn't enough for you to want to give this a go, it's full of vitamin C and anti-inflammatory um, and has also has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. Right, what I've ordered here is a traditional Peruvian dish to go with my traditional Peruvian drink. That is koi. In other words, guinea pig. He's even got his little ear and his teeth in there still. I'm gonna try him. I've never tried it before. I've kind of half been putting it off. It's chicken, that's all it is. It's just like chicken. Since he's got little little rib, ribs in there. It's quite fatty. It is fatty, isn't it? A lot of the pictures I've seen of this look fucking awful, but this actually doesn't look that bad. Not bad, I just think it's chicken really, but the thing so, is, I can see all the little hairs poking out of the um, the crispy skin, and that's really making me not want to eat skin. But I am going to try the skin as well. It's actually not bad. It's just you would think it's chicken. It's literally just like chicken, to be honest. It just got teeth and an ear. <laughs> anyway, bon appetit. Portrait, what the hell is that mean? I don't know. I don't know how much it costs. Oh, okay, okay, I'll get one. 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 I'll